Hey backers, my name is Seth Baldwin. I'm a test engineer here at EcoFlow. Today we'd like to thank you for your support and our influencers for their in-depth video reviews on our beta products. Our R&D team has been working day and night to ensure that all specified features are functioning properly. So today we're gonna to be testing the latest firmware update and we'll see how it works. We'll start with Xlink. All right, so let's test the X-Link. Start by powering on both devices. Once powered on, now you can connect the cables. Now start by long pressing the AC on off for three seconds on one device. Okay, now the second. You can see this icon showed up and it's flashing. Once this stops flashing, you're good to go. Today we're gonna to be testing a 1200 watt air dryer. Okay, stop flashing. Now we can plug this in. Let's see here. So as you can see here, we're sitting over 1100 watts. And see here, 555 and 550. So now we're gonna see how long this can run. All right. So as you can see, it ran over 1100 watts for about two minutes reliably, so that's great. Okay, now that we've concluded the X-Link will power a 1200 watt device continuously, let's try it with just one. This is the same 1200 watt hair dryer. And it's working. So as you can see here, sitting uh, around over 600 watts. So how does this work? How does this power a 1200 watt device? This is where X-Boost comes into play. The smart inverter lowers the voltage just enough to enable this device to operate. It's completely safe because no matter how much we adjust the AC output, it remains a pure sine wave. So it's safe. There is a trade-off. If you listen closely, you can hear it's just not as powerful. But you can still dry your hair and the device still works. Now that we've tested the latest firmware update on both X-Link and X-Boost, let's move on to the UPS function. All right, before we get into the UPS configuration testing, some backers had some questions about charging these in series. Now, while they have the capability of doing so, we actually don't recommend it, especially if you're trying to use a device at the same time. This could trigger the overload protection. So if you're wanting to charge both devices simultaneously, we recommend charging separately. And if you're just wanting to expand the capacity, we recommend connecting the units together in parallel using X-Link. So now that we've covered this, let's hop into the UPS configuration test. Okay, let's go through this UPS configuration. Here you can see AC power going into the R600. This is the cable going to the computer, cable going to the monitor, and the cable going to the oscilloscope. So the device is fully charged. Let's see what happens when we unplug it. One, two, three. So as you can see here, this is the response time of the inverter switching from AC power to battery. It's about 30 milliseconds. But let's try it again, see what happens. One, two, three. So again, you can see this response here from the inverter switching from AC power to battery. And you can see that the monitor, the computer, and the oscilloscope are all still on. So it's working great. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the relationship between DC input and AC output. Let's get to it. 
Okay, now we're gonna test the flow through charging capabilities by connecting a DC power source from this 12 volt car port to this yellow XT60 port, which can be recharged by any solar setup or DC power source ranging from 10 volt to 25 volt with a 12 amp max. All right, we're connected. And you can see here it's charging. Now we're gonna test it under a load. This is the 1200 watt hair dryer from before. Let's see if it works. Yep, working good. We're sitting around 600 watts. So that's working great. Now, all of these tests were done after our latest firmware update. Okay, so it's worth mentioning that all the tests that took place today were after our latest firmware update, which you can do right here in the EcoFlow app. Open the app, select your connected device, go to system, scroll to the bottom, and click on check for updates. Now you can select upgrade. The device will begin upgrading, so please wait till it's finished and do not close the app. So this concludes our update video. Uh, we really appreciate the discussions that have taken place on the page and in our influencer video reviews. This is the reason we love Kickstarter. As a startup, we wanna grow with our backers and influencers out there because we are a startup and this is an in-progress product. We're happy that we can fix all the bugs before final delivery. Our R&D and QC team will be working very hard doing final testing before shipping. We're very grateful for the patience and trust of our backers. So from everyone here at EcoFlow, thank you for your support and we can't wait to deliver your new R600.